Welcome to Module 4, Broadcasts. So broadcasts are the one and done emails that you use for timely promotion, sales, seasonal offers, etc. They're typically the type of email you send out as a newsletter, uh, the type of thing that MailChimp allows you to send out. Um, and that's kind of the only thing that people who are starting out in email, these are really the only emails that people send out. Now, it doesn't mean that they're not good. It doesn't mean that the there's no place for the broadcast. There's definitely a place for broadcast. I send a broadcast every week updating my email list on what's going on. But let me show you how we do it in ConvertKit. So in this module, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a broadcast, A, B subject line testing, excluding certain people via tags, sequences, or forms, sending from multiple email addresses and names, so you only need one account. This is great if you have more than one account, if you have more than one business, more than one store, etc., you can send from one ConvertKit account and only pay for one account. Uh, scheduling and resending to those who don't open your initial broadcast. So let's check it out. Okay, so we are in my uh, main page. So I'm going to go over to broadcasts and we're going to open up my broadcasts. And these are all the ones that I previously sent. And I'm going to go to new broadcasts. Now here's the drop down menu and I can send from my normal email address or I can send from these other ones as well. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send from my normal one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, first of all, pick who I'm gonna send this to. And I'm just gonna pick the one that we did in module four, so, or excuse me, module three. I'm gonna send to test broadcast, or test tag only. Okay, so only people in test tag are gonna receive this. That's only one subscriber, okay? Now, the beauty of this is that I can actually exclude people as well. And let's do something. I'm just going to have something else that I do as well. Uh, me only. So I have a uh, tag that's called me only. Okay, and we're just going to play. We're not going to say all. We're going to say any. So this or this. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to exclude me only. We're going to see what happens. None. So see how we have two now? Now we're going to exclude me only. This is the simplest way I felt to do this, okay? So obviously you have test tag plus me only minus me only. It only leaves test tag. That's what we did last time, okay? So that's only one subscriber. So that's how you can add certain tags. You can also add them based on anything, really. Sequences that they're part of, tags that they're part of, forms that they've enrolled in, all these things, okay? And not just subscribe to, you can do cold subscribers, locations within segments, date that they subscribed, subscriber details, etc. Okay, so pretty much everything that you can think of. We're gonna go next step. Now we're gonna click this, this is the AB subject testing, okay? That just means that it's going to send 15% um, of the emails to the first subject 15% to the second subject, and it's going to pick the winner. And the winner is going to be the one with the most opens. So the winning subject is going to be sent to the remainder of the of the people on your list. So if I just did this and call this subject one, and then I call it, uh, you know, subject two, the return. Okay. So which one of these is more likely to be open? Well, we don't know. We don't know until we send it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to send to both and then ConvertKit will automatically pick a winner, which is kind of cool. Okay. And then we're just going to write our, our subject in here. So what happens is that they send it out for the first couple hours and then the winning subject line gets sent to the rest of your email address. And we'll just call this uh, uh, email content. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go next step and we're going to schedule it. Okay, so we can send it immediately or we can schedule it sometime in the future. Let's just say January 25th at 4 p.m. sounds about right. Schedule broadcast and we're done with that. Now, before I go, what I want to do is I want to show you something really, really neat that ConvertKit does. Okay, this is a broadcast that I sent earlier today. It's just a test broadcast that I sent to myself. Okay, now you can see that it has one recipient, me, but 0% open rate because I didn't open it on purpose. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view report and this is one of the powerful things. I can resend to unopened. So I'm going to resend to everyone. So say not just one. So say a thousand people got this email and 800 of them did not open. Well, I can go resend to unopened and it's only going to resend to those people who did not open the previous email. 
and I can call this, you know, we change the subject, subject line a little bit, test broadcast 1.1, the beginning. And then we're going to restate our subject. You know, our content shouldn't be exactly the same, but you should, you're resetting the same broadcast, so you should make the content pretty similar. Next step, and send broadcast. You can also save it to be sent later as well. And then we're done. So you can see here that test broadcast 1.0 is broken into two different things. Okay, the, the two different ones here. And that's going to be its total information that, that it gathers afterwards. Okay, so that's broadcast for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next module.